we have breaking news regarding the British royal family, particularly about a new biography by Robert Jobson, which we discussed yesterday. The book about Kate Middleton is now on the shelves in the UK. However, some media outlets have been heavily criticizing it. One of them is The Telegraph, which claimed that Robert Jobson's biography of Princess Kate is overly flattering and even ridiculous. Today, we will discuss this article from The Telegraph and another topic circulating in the media, the possibility that Catherine might attend the Olympic Games currently being held in Paris. It seems that some palace insiders suggest that the British royal family, which has not been seen at the Olympics yet, might make an appearance. So far, only Princess Anne has traveled to Paris, accompanied by her husband Lawrence, to represent the British crown at these significant games. But they say this could change soon. Before other royals who have been cheering on their athletes, there's a big surprise supposedly awaiting the English athletes, Kate Middleton, whose official activity has been nearly non-existent since January due to her battle with cancer. Although she did attend Wimbledon, where she was seen alongside Alcaraz, this time she won't be watching as both Rafael Nadal and Alcaraz have already been eliminated from the Olympics. Several British newspapers, including the Daily Express, have reported that the very athletic princess is eager to attend the event. They mentioned that Catherine would love to go to the Olympics, but it is ultimately up to her medical team to make the final decision. Some sources suggest that her attendance might not be confirmed until next week, while others believe it could be decided sooner. Catherine's potential appearance in Paris would be a sign of her ongoing recovery, which was evident during the Wimbledon final, a tournament she regularly attends as a patron. Seeing her looking perfectly well was a delight for everyone, and her appearance in Paris seems likely, showing her steady recovery. Just a few months ago, everything seemed bleak, but now things have changed for her. Robert Jobson, who has been speaking a lot about his book, recently mentioned the controversial aspect of Prince William's role as a pilot, particularly concerning his use of single-engine helicopters. These helicopters, which once caused a serious accident resulting in four deaths, were banned by Queen Elizabeth for royal family use. Yet, William, an experienced pilot, continues to use them, much to his father's disapproval. Jobson reported that King Charles wants William to sign a document acknowledging the risks and assuming full responsibility for his actions, but the young prince has refused. Robert Jobson also spoke about the controversy surrounding William's use of these helicopters, especially given the tragic history associated with them. The tension between King Charles Roman III and Prince William over this issue has been making headlines, and Jobson commented on this just before his book's release yesterday. Turning back to the The Telegraph article, the paper describes Jobson's biography of Kate Middleton as ridiculous, questioning whether it's more of a histrionic sermon than a historical account. The article also reflects on Kate's serene public personality, noting her ironic smile and sideways glance at the current queen during Harry and Meghan's wedding, while American Bishop Michael Curry delivered a rather theatrical sermon. This wedding, which took place just six years ago, had several such human moments that Jobson fails to include in his book. The biography spends a lot of time discussing various public appearances by Catherine, though it criticizes the book for being lacking in substance. The Telegraph argues that Jobson's account of Kate's life, from her upbringing in a middle-class family and private education at Marlborough College to meeting her future husband William at the University of St. Andrews in 2001, fills over 300 pages without much depth. The book briefly touches on the brief breakup between William and Kate in 2007, their reconciliation and their eventual engagement in 2010, leading to their marriage in 2011. Jobson also addresses the strained relationship between Kate and Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, which has been a topic of much discussion and controversy. The book touches on the accusations made by Meghan's camp, suggesting that Kate made Meghan cry during the wedding preparations, 
among other tensions that led to Harry and Meghan's departure to the United States. Robert Jobson's book, despite the criticisms, has been the subject of much discussion. Many argue that the book is nothing but repeated gossip, but it's clear that Jobson has spent years covering the royal family, including Kate, William, and the late Princess Diana. Some media outlets speculate that Jobson's book might fail due to its reliance on recycled stories. The book has also drawn attention to the infamous Frankenstein photo incident. The book details how Kate was devastated after the public noticed a poorly edited family photo shared to mark Mother's Day. William reportedly refused to stand by Kate during the media storm, with the palace refusing to release the original photo, fueling more speculation. Kate, feeling embarrassed, eventually had to make a solo statement after William decided not to include himself in the official response. Jobson also revisits the 2007 breakup between Kate and William, suggesting that Kate felt humiliated when William broke up with her over the phone. Despite the breakup, Kate followed her mother's advice, keeping herself together and eventually won William back. This incident, along with many others, has been widely discussed in the media, with some outlets criticizing Jobson for bringing up such old and painful memories. In the end, we will see if more details from Jobson's book emerge, and whether Kensington Palace makes any official statement about the possible attendance of the Prince and Princess of Wales at the Olympics. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on this and other royal news.